Time now for a pet of the week and joining us this morning are Perry Dale and we brought with you uh, Dex, thank you for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having so us. So tell us about Dex. <laughs> Dex is a three-year-old uh, Cairn Terrier mix. Um, think Wizard of Oz and Toto, although he's a little bit bigger. Um, but he came to us uh, back earlier this month. He came in as a stray from the county, and no one's come to claim him. He has uh, heartworms, so he does need to be treated for that. But otherwise, he's all ready to go. He's been neutered and had all his shots. Real sweet dog, as you can see. <laughs> and, and by his personality, can you guys tell if he's been cared for well over the three years? Um, I believe so. He's very well socialized, mm -hmm. um, loves people, uh, loves other animals. We had one person come in that wanted to know if he'd get along with cats, so we tried him with some cats and he's fine totally indifferent to cats so okay. he'd be great in a home with children um, dogs cats whatever talk to us about the Karen breed what do they like to do what are their personalities like oh gosh well they're uh, they're a Scottish breed mm -hmm. the, uh, the name Karen comes after the rock outcroppings in Scotland and they use these dogs and bred them in fact for uh, ratting there so they, they're terriers, very typical terriers. Um, if you have a rat problem, he'll take care of it. Um, not a big deal at all. But they're very sweet, friendly animals. He's pretty low key, as you can see. It's a, a good size. This is as big as he's gonna get. Um, but the Cairns, uh, typically, now he's a little bit rough looking right now, but uh, typically they're very easy to care for. You just strip out this long, um, a coarse coat here periodically and then he's got a nice little soft coat underneath but this is a protection here. Okay so we need some brushing for mm -hmm. sure um, and talk about this, what kind of home would he be best suited for? I think uh, of course he's a small dog so I would say um, an indoor and then able to go outside dog you know would certainly need a fence yard um, if you have him in, you know as an outside dog but um, I would definitely recommend being inside take him out for walks he would be fine with other animals or children and with having heartworms, if somebody's interested in adopting him, mm -hmm. what do they need to know about taking care of Dex or any other animal that has heartworms? With heartworms, um, and of course the shelter through our Animal Shelter Foundation offers a heartworm help program where we actually pay the cost of the um, amidocide, which is the drug that treats the heartworms. And uh, so all you need to really do is take him to <laughs> one of the uh, vets. Um, that we have an agreement with and then we would uh, cover that cost. Um, you would still be responsible for any other blood tests or x-rays or anything like that. Um, but the way the heartworm treatment works is you basically have to uh, get a series of injections and the animal has to be kept quiet for, for the time period in between those injections, about eight weeks I would say. Okay. Um, and by quiet I mean just not letting him run loose and um, get too active and get his heart rate up. Sure. But he, it'd be fine you know, to take him out on walks things like that just keep him fairly calm. Okay, uh, what is the adoption fee for him? <laughs> for Dex, actually, uh, because he's heartworm positive, Dex would only be $25. Okay, 25 bucks, mm -hmm. so three years old, lots of energy, lots of fun. If you're interested in adopting him, how can they find out more information? Um, you can come out to the Animal Service Center in Tom Brown Park, 1125 Easterwood Drive, or call us at 891-2950. Okay, so Dex is our pet of the week. You can find out more information about him also by going to our website, WTXL.TV. Thanks, guys, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Let's check back in now with uh, meteorologist Austin Winfield for a look at maybe if you're taking your pet out for a walk this morning. Hey, Austin.